Vikings were more than raiders and explorers. They were master craftsmen who understood the natural world in ways modern builders often overlook. Their ships, homes and tools had to survive harsh northern climates, salt-saturated oceans and decades of use. Yet these timbers lasted far longer than one might expect, and they did it without a single drop of modern chemical preservative. Understanding their methods reveals a combination of observation, preparation and practical natural treatments that anyone today can apply to extend the life of wood in gardens, workshops and outdoor structures. Vikings knew that moisture was wood's greatest enemy and designed around it. The first principle in Viking wood preservation was simple yet profound control water. Timber left in constant contact with soil or standing water rots quickly, while wood elevated, ventilated or shielded from direct exposure lasts far longer. Archaeological evidence shows that Viking longhouses and shipyards consistently used raised platforms or stone supports to prevent timbers from touching damp ground. Hull timbers were carefully shaped and fitted to minimize pockets where water could accumulate. For modern application, always store lumber off the ground, preferably on blocks or pallets, and cover it to protect from rain while allowing airflow. When building outdoor structures, ensure that beams are elevated roof overhangs, divert water and foundations prevent pooling. Even simple adjustments like these can dramatically increase timber longevity, echoing Viking practices that allowed ships to survive ocean voyages and wooden hauls to endure centuries. Vikings didn't stop at placement they actively treated wood. Pine tar, pitch and other natural resins were applied to timbers to repel water and resist fungal growth. Tar penetrated deep into the wood fibers, creating a durable, water-resistant layer. Historical ship remnants show that hull planks and fastenings were coated thoroughly, preventing decay in marine conditions. Today, the principle remains the same. Applying boiled linseed oil, pine tar or natural beeswax to outdoor wood creates a protective barrier. So, focus on the end grain exposed surfaces and those joints where water tends to collect. You'll want to reapply this treatment seasonally to maintain protection. This natural approach, honestly, mimics Viking methods and produces timber that can withstand rain frost and all those seasonal changes, without relying on modern chemicals. Vikings, well, they were quite selective with their timber. Oak, ash and pine were preferred for structural components because their dense heartwood is naturally resistant to rot. Now, sapwood, by contrast, contains higher moisture and sugars, and it decays rapidly, so it was often avoided in critical applications. The way timber was cut also mattered. A lot, actually. Quarter-sawn beams resist warping and allow water to drain naturally, while the orientation of the grain helped prevent moisture buildup. Modern builders, you know, can apply the same logic today. So, select naturally durable species for outdoor use, prioritize heartwood and orient boards to promote drainage. Even in small projects like raised beds, fences or garden furniture, these choices, you know, dramatically improve longevity. A few mindful decisions at the start can save years of maintenance and replacement later on. Freshly cut wood, or green timber, is extremely vulnerable to decay. 
Vikings understood that patience mattered. They air-dried boards for months or even years, stacking them in ventilated sheds or under eaves, sometimes interspersed with straw or sand, to promote even drying. Only after timber stabilized in moisture content did they install it in ships or structures. This approach, well, it works today. Air-dry lumber in a ventilated area off the ground, rotate boards occasionally, and avoid sealing stacks in plastic where condensation can form. Properly cured timber is, well, much less likely to warp crack or succumb to rot. It's a simple yet powerful technique that really replicates Viking craftsmanship and ensures your wood lasts for decades. The true genius of Viking timber preservation, you see, lies in the combination of strategies — controlling moisture, applying natural oils and resins, selecting the right species, orienting and cutting carefully, and curing wood patiently. Each step honestly reinforces the others producing timber capable of surviving harsh climates, heavy use, and even marine environments. For modern use, you can, you know, combine these approaches in small-scale projects. Raise garden beds off the soil, coat posts and edges with pine tar or linseed oil, select durable species like oak or pine, and allow proper drying before installation. Even a backyard fence or bench built this way will endure far longer than untreated alternatives, demonstrating that centuries-old Viking techniques remain relevant today. Vikings made wood last not through chemistry, but through observation, preparation, and natural treatments. They controlled moisture, applied resins, chose durable species, oriented grain wisely, and cured wood patiently. These lessons remain highly practical for modern builders, carpenters, and gardeners seeking sustainable, long-lasting timber solutions. By studying their methods, we gain not only historical insight, but actionable strategies for creating resilient wooden structures today. For more historically proven techniques and practical applications, subscribe to Echoes of Valor and share this video with fellow history enthusiasts. Learn from Viking ingenuity build wood that endures, and bring the wisdom of the past into your modern projects.